In this video, we're going to be talking about the brand new endorphin shoes from Saucony. I'm going to try and help you pick one of these. What is up, everybody, and welcome to 40 Runs. My name is Chris Ford, and I'm a running coach who likes to review running shoes here on YouTube. Okay, so I thought this would be a quick video we could do and talk about the differences between the two because you might be looking at them and going, which one do I need? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly run through the stats and features of each, then I'm gonna tell you the differences between the two and then we can sort of decide which one would suit you better. Now, before we do that, we've gotta give a shout out to our sponsors at Start Fitness. I want you to head over to startfitness.co.uk where you can buy both of these shoes and if you use my code 40 runs, you're gonna get a cheeky little discount. Okay, people, so these two shoes have probably been the best shoes over the last few years for the everyday runner. And it was a brilliant idea by Saucony to come out with this lineup of shoes. Because since they've come out, they've been everywhere. They've been so popular because they offer speed, but versatility. Now, the Speed 4 is retailing at just under 180 pounds at Start Fitness. We've got 36 mil of stack and eight mil drop. It's just over nine ounces, 260 odd grams. Both the shoes, by the way, fit true to size. We've got a new lattice uh, outsole, XT900 outsole, and new uppers on both. This has got a nylon plate, a winged nylon plate. I'll show you that in just a second. Then we move on to the 229 pounds and 90 pence Socket Endorphin Pro 4, which again has got a new upper on it, full length carbon plate, Power Run PB midsole with a little bit of Power Run HG from the Endorphin Elite in it as well. This is weighing in at just under nine ounces, so 240 odd grams, uh, a lot more stacking it, 39 and a half mil, but again, an eight mil drop. Okay, right, so if you're looking at both of these shoes on the Start Fitness website and thinking, right, well, what's the difference? The Socket Endorphin Speed 4 is your sort of trainer workout shoe. This is the more versatile of the two. Pro 4 is the race day shoe. This is the sort of shoe that you would take out and run your half marathon, your 10K or your marathon. Now, you could do them in this shoe and that's the awesome thing about the Speed 4 and I'll come on to that. But the Pro 4 is set up for those race days. Now the Pro 4 has got a nylon plate in it so it's a, like a plasticky kind of plate versus the carbon plate which is much more rigid than the Pro 4. So this is a little bit more forgiving. It's not as intrusive and not as stiff as you get on the Pro 4. Both the shoes have speed roll technology, which is there to sort of help you roll through your stride. And it is noticeable where it works so well with the two foams. Now the winged plate design is there to increase the stability of the shoe and also take some of the load outside, so again, helping you with that propulsion. So example with the Pro 4, it's just a full length carbon plate. It doesn't have the winglets coming out. So with that, you're sort of spreading it out a little bit and then it's still going forward. So you're getting a little bit of stability, but you're also getting a little bit of pop from those wider areas. So the whole thing's working a little bit differently to what we've got in the Pro 4. And it's a real positive thing because this shoe is much more tuned up for those training runs, those speedier sessions that you may want to do, but you can also get away with it for doing those three, four miles on the treadmill or park run or whatever you want to do. Both the uppers on these shoes are very breathable and very well put together. Both shoes are very comfortable, have no issues in terms of heat spots or anything like that. And like I said, both fit true to size. For me, the pick for you is the Speed 4 because it's so versatile. You can literally do everything in this shoe. It's got a fantastic outsole. This lattice design is really grippy and hopefully really durable. We'll find out the more miles we put on the shoe. But you can do all your training miles in this and then take this to race day. Now I'm conscious these shoes are expensive, 180 pounds before my discount is a lot of money. So I would say buy the Speed 4 if you're looking at these two shoes together because this will offer them more versatility than the Pro 4. Now if you're looking purely for a race day option, yes the Pro 4 is the one to go for, but it is limited in terms of use. It is a race day shoe. You can do your speed workouts in it. You can do some of your long runs maybe in it where you're putting some target and goal pace in the run, but it obviously is a 230 pound shoe without my discount. So you is that race day shoe. And that's why the Speed 4 for you, I think is the pick because it does offer that versatility. So there we go, guys. I hope that's helped. I hope that if, uh, if you're new to running or you're looking at these shoes for the first time, you've got no clue about these, that's helped a little bit. And I would really recommend that you head over to Start Fitness and grab the Speed 4. It is an absolute cracker of a shoe.